a doll wardrobe in a file holder, a tropical beach in a notebook folder, a doll chair in a globe, and much more! Learn fun ways to sneak your doll into class in our new video! Redhead comes to school looking weird! Is she some kind of secret agent? It turns out she's smuggling dolls in a secret pocket of her blazer! Mark a secret pocket on the inside of a blazer. Sew Velcro to the lining. Trace the pocket layout on a sheet of felt. Cut it out. Hot glue the felt piece to the other side of Velcro. Fasten the secret pocket on the inside of the blazer. Agent Redhead snuck forbidden dolls in her pocket! Good job! Miss Smith clocks them when she sees a suspicious mustache and sunglasses at the desk. What's with this costume party? The teacher rips off the disguise. But fortunately, she doesn't notice the secret pocket. So it means we can play with dolls in class. Miss Smith detects that Jessica is playing with dolls again, and she decides to swap the toys for crayons. But it won't stop Jessica. She comes up with a way to combine crayons and an LOL doll. Cut crayons, add glitter, and melt in a microwave. Use a brush to apply the mixture to doll's hair. Melt crayons of different colors with glitter and apply the colored wax in a few layers onto the hair. The girls are working on a new hairstyle for the doll. It's called the crayon effect. The LOL doll's hairdo looks very stylish. Plus, you can use it to draw in a notebook. Learn and play at the same time. Somebody comes to school in a pink convertible. This is Barbie from the high school next door. All the pens and pencils from a regular organizer can fit into her car. Draw car outlines on an empty fabric softener bottle. Cut it out. Trace the bottom of a car on thick cardboard. Cut it out too, and hot glue the bottom to the top. Attach thin straws as axes for wheels. Mark holes for pens on the trunk. Prick them with a heated awl. Even them out with nail scissors. Coat the car with pink spray acrylic paint. Make a bumper from a glittering foam rubber sheet. Attach gold paper to be lights. Make fenders from a pink glittering foam rubber sheet. Attach the wheels of an old toy car to a wooden skewer and stick it into the straw. Add a Barbie sticker. We put all the school supplies into the new car organizer. The Barbie car successfully parks on the desk. We will make our learning process more stylish. Miss Smith doesn't even mind. Jessica takes out a doll. But it's not just that. It's a mix of fashion and school supplies. A dress with colored pencils made by the best doll designers. Cut Velcro into thin strips. Hot glue them to short colored pencils. Cut a round hole for the waist in the center of a red felt square. Make armholes on a smaller piece. Put the top and the skirt onto a doll. Hot glue the parts together. Glue on pieces of pencils as buttons. And attach the pencils with Velcro to the skirt. Barbie looks so beautiful in this dress. And the best part is that it's very useful. Take off the pencils and draw. Miss Smith reacts to the red dress like a bull. She takes the doll away, but leaves the pencils. After all, this is school, not a fashion house for dolls. Redhead is playing with a little LOL. It's so tiny, but sharp-eyed Miss Smith still notices it. There is no reason to be angry. This is just a part of a hair tie. Hot glue one side of a magnetic snap to the bow, and the other to the back of an LOL doll. Redhead quickly puts the doll onto her hair. No rule says that a hair tie with a doll is forbidden. 
Jessica takes out a hidden Barbie to keep from getting bored. And Redhead gets her stylish accessory. It's an adorable hat! Cut a ping pong ball. Paint it white. Take the thin pattern layer off a decorative foam rubber sheet. Cover half of the ball with it. Trim the excess fabric around the edge. Cut a brim for the hat out of another foam rubber sheet. Make cuts around the inner circle. And put in the ball top. Decorate the seam with satin ribbons. Hot glue a blank pin inside. This hat makes Barbie look like she has come straight from France. But the teacher detects tourists on the desk. We quickly hide the doll and attach the hat as a brooch. All evidence is hidden. It's geography class and we have to find countries on the globe. But it's so boring. While Redhead is lost in the ocean looking for Polynesia, Jessica comes up with a plan. She asks the teacher for her globe and quickly swaps it for a doll swing chair. Take a globe apart and paint it pink on the inside. Make a cushion from flower patterned felt. Stuff it with hollow fiber filling. Hot glue it completely. Trim the edges with scrapbooking scissors. Hot glue a pink artificial flower inside. Add a felt loop. Put one half of the globe into the other. Fasten it on the stand and put in the cushion. Jessica makes a chair out of a globe. What a cute interior piece. Put in a doll. It's so comfy. The doll is sitting in the center of the earth. And Miss Smith doesn't notice anything. The girls are tired of drawing. They decide to use their talents and create a present for their teacher. Miss Smith disciplines them again. But we are making a gift for you. It's a hole puncher in a magical mermaid seashell. Cut a round seashell out of foam rubber. Make two pieces. Even out the shape with scissors. Trace a hole puncher on the seashell and cut out the gap. Make a hot glue pattern on top of the seashell. Make a hole through the other half and put in the hole puncher. And cover it with the top seashell. Hot glue the pieces. Coat the seashell and the hole puncher with rubber paint. Define the pattern using pearl acrylic paint. Shape a light clay ball. Paint it to look like a pearl. And hot glue it to the center of the hole puncher. Miss Smith doesn't usually play at work. But this hole puncher with a pearl is very cute. Thanks girl for this oceanic present. Miss Smith can't find her glue, but she sees a whole tube of it on the girl's desk. Excellent! She takes the glue away for teaching purposes. Oops! A mini doll world is hidden in this glue tube. Gotcha, girls! Cut a door in a clean Elmer's glue bottle. Prick holes with an awl so that the door opens. Prime the tube. Add sand with yellow acrylic paint and a wave with blue. Hot glue a felt palm. Wrap twine around the ends of decorative netting. And hot glue it inside the bottle to be a hammock. Put kinetic sand onto the bottom. Miss Smith wants to pour out some glue, but it's all for nothing. She looks inside and there is a whole doll resort in there. What a tiny beach for a little LOL. Miss Smith is touched. But no one canceled school. Only the LOL doll can take a rest in her paradise. Miss Smith asks the students to come to the blackboard. It's Jessica's turn. What a nightmare! Unfortunately, Jessica didn't do her homework. Miss Smith gives her an eraser. Don't wipe off the blackboard. It's a lounger for a Barbie doll. Cut a magnetic eraser. Draw lines on a piece of a foam rubber sheet. And attach it to the eraser using double-sided tape. 
Join the parts of the eraser to make a lounger. It turns out that Miss Smith didn't want to scare Jessica. She asked her to come up so she could give her a doll lounger. Why is she so generous? Thanks, teacher! Now our doll will relax on this lounge chair. Redhead brought something great. It's more than just a file holder. This is an actual doll wardrobe. Cover the sides of a file holder with a decorative foam rubber sheet. Use double-sided tape. Snip off the excess. Make shelves out of a foam rubber sheet and cardboard. Make a rectangular door the same way. Attach felt loops. Cut a Barbie silhouette out of a pink foam rubber sheet. Attach it to the door. Hot glue a decorative heart to be a doorknob. Put in the shelves. Hot glue a wooden skewer with the decorative clothespins to the top shelf. It's a holder for hangers. Trim the skewer to fit the shelf. Put the top shelf into the wardrobe and attach the door. Fill the wardrobe with Barbie clothes. A file holder is the perfect way to hide a Barbie wardrobe. It's handy and compact. But Miss Smith is on high alert. Then Jessica quickly explains that she needs this holder for her notebook folder. Thanks for your help, Jess! But Jessica's folder also has a secret. If you open it, you will see a tropical beach with palms and seashells. Measure the size of the gaps between the flaps of a notebook folder. Cut rectangles out of cardboard and cover the edges. Attach a printed beach picture to the inside of the cover. Paint one side flap of the folder green and attach decorative felt palm leaves. Attach a blue foam rubber sheet to the other flap. Hot glue it to the center in a wave. Cover the sides with a blue foam rubber sheet too. Apply a layer of glue to the sides and put in brown and blue kinetic sand. Decorate the beach with stones, seashells, and starfish. Add a cocktail umbrella. The girls open up the beach and place an umbrella. Their mermaid LOL was dreaming about the ocean the entire class. At last, she can relax. And the kinetic sand is so satisfying for your fingers. It's a desktop resort. Did you like our ideas on sneaking dolls into school? Then write in the comments how you would hide your dolls in class. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel and click the bell so that you don't miss new life hacks on Troom Troom.